how you guys even make it through some of these scenes without breaking up and just continuously laughing. How difficult is it at times? Well, what we do is we break up and laugh continuously, <laughs> okay. and then our first assistant director has to step in and say, remember, you're getting paid, and you're supposed to be professional. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That happens a lot, particularly in the break room. Okay. Like, Definitely. Yeah. So I was really excited this season to see Glenn kind of step down from the management role to spend more time with his kid, and I thought that that was a really important thing that we don't show a lot of fathers kind of in that role. So can you kind of talk about how, has anybody kind of really spoken to you about that, or felt like? Hey, well, certainly it was noticed that he, yeah. he that he uh, that he stepped down and. Uh, and he, but I, I'd like to lean in maybe next season they'll do it you know, into the, the reason which is yeah he just wants to be a, yeah. a dad because yeah. he thinks this is the last one yeah. you know, my last one is one there and there he is right over there <laughs> so, you know, he won't let me put him in the, you know, the little coach anymore <laughs> Yeah, very cool. yeah. For each of you, what are you hoping to see from your characters in the coming season? I know you don't know too much about what's going to come up, but what would you like to see? Uh, I would like to see Cheyenne be a mother. Like, I never get to see my child. I don't even know what Harmonica looks like now. Like, I, I, I think it'd be really cool to sort of incorporate that relationship or have an episode about it, maybe. Um, I love the episode where we got to meet her mom, and so I'm just very curious about her home life. And, and how things are going with Bo. So, yeah, that's what I want to see. Uh, I'd, well, I'd like to see my spouse a little bit more, too. I haven't seen her in a oh while. Oh, my God. Yeah, Carrie. Yeah, Carrie Kenny is fantastic. And, uh, uh, and also, yeah, lean into the, the whole Glenn being a parent. Of, I mean, there's so many great, they've developed so many interesting avenues for the character. Like, it's like a Glenn and his 16 kids, or Glenn and, and Carrie Kenny, or Glenn and his clearly deeply corrupt church that he still believes in despite <laughs> So, you know, any one of these things it, it would be fun to do. I guess I kind of miss a little bit um, the idea that he might be, he doesn't have to be manager, but like in charge of some aspect of the store so he can screw it. <laughs> <laughs> what does surprise you the most about where your character started and, and where you are now for both of you? Huh. I'm surprised because it really feels like the writers have been remarkably faithful in teasing out these these new aspects that you, you never go, what? It's kind of like, you know, well, maybe one, the 16 kids. <laughs> 16. I, I love the number. I love the audacity. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to agree with Mark. I feel like a lot of the times the writers sort of just write to what they see in the actors and like art imitates life like all these characters are having babies also off screen everybody's having babies so i think it does feel very natural in that way a lot of the developments nothing's like been a huge shock yeah how do you feel about the way that the show so successfully handles important social issues and is that important to you to incorporate in the series Oh yeah, because it's, I think it's really hard to do. Like the writers are really good. They find that scene because on one side you're indulgent and preachy and boring, and on the other side you're you're treating a serious issue too frivolously. And so it's a you know it's a pretty skinny corner you got to walk to get that right. And they nail it. Yeah. It's balletically brilliant writing. So. And yeah, I think it's just cool that we have a show that really represents what life is like for a lot of people. Because I remember growing up watching sitcoms and, and I was like why does everybody on TV have an amazing house and like they never deal with money problems or just things like that you know it wasn't realistic in any way so I'm really proud to be part of a show that is willing to touch on all these issues that a lot of people experience and it's very realistic to some, so yeah. yeah yeah for that percentage of people who would be thrown into crisis if they had an unexpected $500 bill yeah that's yeah. most of the cast yeah. and characters yeah. on Superstore and yeah we kind of let's get into it you know are there any issues you guys were hoping to tackle that you haven't yet social issues hmm. I'm personally really uh, passionate about the environment, as stupid as that sounds, so... Oh, yeah. I, 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 I,
it's such a retard. But I think it'd be cool if we touched upon more more of that. I know that we have a little bit, but I just feel like there's so much unawareness surrounding how individuals can impact things in the world. Obviously, climate change is happening, and I just get so frustrated watching individual people like not think about that on a day-to-day basis with their choices. So that's something I think would be cool. And I would agree. I'm 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 a big green, and uh, and but one of my favorite lines all year was uh, was Glenn when the, right before the snowstorm episode. He goes, "Well, so much for global warming." <laughs> <laughs> and Glenn's the perfect character to say that. So, yeah.